this is a viaduct. It is a raised platform, and it top it looks like a regular street with sidewalks and trolley lines and street lights, and it looks like the side of the building. But below are arched doors and windows and streets and train tracks, the whole nine yards. This is a viaduct. Over here is a viaduct. This whole street viaduct, viaduct here. And today this is covered over with also a viaduct. The entire downtown core is covered in viaducts. Here's another one. This is a, a long viaduct coming into the city. And now today this is all covered over. It's all one level. Right. Yeah. So they do it in the 1920s yeah. and 50 years later by the 1970s, no one knows that it was there. So I mean, you know, come on. Here. So the new yeah. level is up here. So the new first floor, what you see today is up here. This is all underneath the ground now. It's still there. This is a viaduct and this is in the middle of construction where they started with going one way with the roads and then came back the other way. Everything you see here now today is covered over at this level here. This is the street level today. All of this that you see right here is still there today underground and nobody knows it. So when this happened, uh -huh. so many people would have lost their houses or half their houses, their businesses, all this stuff. I mean, and then that's on top of community amenities. They would have lost so much stuff, but what? Then everyone just doesn't remember it. Like no one's grandma says, oh, when I was a girl, we lost our bottom two stories to the, you know, because they built a fire. I mean, there's no way that, that all that information would not be passed on. That doesn't make sense at all to me because that's a massive event. Yeah, I think they started it much earlier than uh, they tell us um, because it, it's just a ton of work. Okay. I just can't believe the amount of iron that must have gone into that because they're pouring roads on top of like just there. Look how many girders yeah. they need. Oh, it's incredible. I, you know, why there's not more records of this? I don't know. Here is the top of a viaduct it's and on the really right hand hard. side, you can barely make out the below ground area of the viaduct before they covered it over with the street. This is on Peachtree Street, which is a major street in Atlanta, Georgia. This is the Atlanta Underground. Um, the top here is the viaduct and they have covered it in concrete to hide it. They've also covered the pillars and then they leave, the, the walls here are the old world and the cobblestone street is the old street. Um, here's another view. Um, you can see old shop fronts. Some of them are older than, um, some of them have were modernized, but as like right here, you can see the facades right here, over here. And it still has the uh, cobblestone brick road installed. That is the, the original street that was there. Now this is not, um, this is this is the the level of mud flood okay this is really important what yeah. you're looking at here is not the original level if you notice right here there's stairs going down yeah, so you're already wow. one level below and it goes deeper the scale um, because i mean that's just one city we've been looking at i mean if they were doing this everywhere it's just because this is you know well, they say it's modern, right? Within a hundred years ago. I mean, mm -hmm. that's huge. And this would have been going on all over the place, but no stories of it anywhere. No stories of people losing their businesses or their houses to the viaduct. Right. No stories of displacement and you know, lack of housing or anything like that. And then the, the kicker is, you know, oh, they forgot about it and found it 50 years later.